So, in your setup, the things I like are the following. Club face is squared up at a 90 degree angle behind the center of the ball. It's excellent, just like our golf pros. Club and ball are in the middle of your stance, and for an iron of this length, that's perfect. Grip, both hands are working well as a unit, and you've choked up a little bit for control. No problem there. Stance width, you narrow it up so you're more shoulder width and not as wide, so you can pivot and transfer your weight a lot better. And your feet, hips, and shoulders are lined up in a complementary manner to the target. The one thing to be careful of is, on occasions, you had that club sitting too far down on the heel, and when your hands sat a little too low, your weight sinks on your heels, okay? So try to grip that a bit lower even in future with a club of this length for you, even though you're getting taller, so the club head sits flush. See the club head sits level and yours rests on the heel. And a couple of swings earlier, the, the angle of the shaft was just above your mid-thigh, so it crunches you. So stand taller, get the shaft of the club to determine that, and then stay tall in the upper, flex in the lower so you remain on the balls of your feet. So balance is key with every golf swing, okay? We're going to watch you take it away from the ball now. On the takeaway, club goes back. Pretty good, but mainly with your arms and hands. As you can see, your wrists take the club back. We want to have you take it back with your shoulder, right? So balance will help that, not just with the small muscles, right? So the turn of the shoulders of the pro to the right. So as you continue back, though, your arms rise up your body. And notice the spacing between your knees. See the gapping between your kneecaps? Mm -hmm. That happens as a result of your arms and hands pulling the club. Too much. Right? Too much space. If your shoulders turn the club back, your lower body will remain much quieter and tighter, like we have our golf pro. So on the way back down, you've got to drop the club in front of your body, reflex your right, right knee, and clear your left hip. And here you did a good job of that, but it involves a lot of recovery. So the less moving parts to your swing, the better. If you think of just turning your shoulders and arms only right from the start, then you can pivot and follow through with your legs more effectively, and especially when you keep your feet at shoulder wide, as Marty mentioned, and not wider. All right.